Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to video 13 in this series on making an RTS game in Unreal Engine 5. In this video, we'll be setting up what we need to do to do our construction and building work. This video and this series have been brought to you by Patreon sponsors, and you too can help this channel out, and all you have to do is hit that like button down below. And if you want to take your support a bit further, consider hitting that subscribe and notify icon below. And if you have a little bit of money left over at the end of the month and you want to help us out a little bit more, consider becoming a Patreon sponsor. Patreon sponsors get access to these videos early. All right, open up your projects and we'll make a start. All right. Here we are back inside of the editor. Now today we'll be doing our prep work for our construction and buildings that we'll have in our RTS game. Now if you've watched the original series, you know I did this after I did resources and units because they all lead into building. You need units to build the buildings, you need resources to be able to even say, hey, we want to build this building. Now, in that series, I wrote it as I was actually building out the prep file. So oftentimes I'd do the prep and then do a recording. So you saw the process I was going through to figure out how to put it all together. Now that I already have that process in the last series, I know what's going to go where and how it's going to fit together so I can do things in a little bit of a different order. So we're going to be doing buildings before we do resources or our units. However, and the reason I'm saying all of this is we know what we're going to need. So we know that we're going to need certain resource information. So, and we also know that we're going to need to allow a certain number of occupants in to work on the building. So I'm going to include those elements in this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some enums. So we're going to go into our core folder and I'm just going to right click, create a new folder. I'm going to call it enums. I'm going to have three subfolders in here. Actually, I'm only going to have two right now, but I'll have three by the end of the section. One will be building or buildings and one will be resources. All right, let's just take out the resources of one real quick because it's pretty simple. Sorry if you can hear some noises in the background, it's very windy here. So I'm going to right click, go to blueprint and then to enumeration and I'll call this E resource type. All right, just pop this open, add enumerator and this will be wood. And then we'll do iron ore. And then we will do our steel. All right, we can save that and close it. We're done with it. We just needed that information. Go back to enums, go to buildings, and we will do three enums in here. We'll start with E, building names, and we'll do one called factory. One, uh, would help us all factory, right, I guess one called training post, one called barracks, one called silo, and we'll leave it there for now. We can add more in later, but this is from the original series of four buildings we had. Next, we will do another enumeration called E building type. Let's pop that open and we will have industrial. After industrial, we'll have infrastructure. Infrastructure, or yeah. And then we'll have military, and then residential. And then finally, we'll have resource management. All right, we're just gonna save that, close that out. And then finally, our last enum, so right click, Blueprint enumeration it will be E construction status. All right. So the first one will be preview or ghost if you prefer that term. Second will be under construction. Now, if you're doing this in C, it is under construction. Otherwise, it freaks out at you because constructions are a reserved word in Unreal. Built. And then finally, damaged. All right. Let's save these. Go ahead and close that out. Now we need to create a bunch of structures. So let's pop back up to our core folder, create a new folder called structures. And in here we're gonna have one subfolder called substructures. 
So that was sub structures. So I'm going to right click, go to blueprint, go to structure, and this one will be called F current max float. Let's pop this open. And this will have two values, both of type float. One will be called max. And then we'll add another value in called current. All right, go ahead and save that and close it out. Then highlight it and control D to duplicate it and rename this min current max float. Sorry, I keep calling it min max. I often will do this as min max and to save it. And we're going to just change these out to integers. That's it. All right, save that, close it. And we actually do need a third one in here. So I created the resources enum. So this will be another structure of F building costs. All right, pop this open. And in here, the first thing will be amount, which will be of type float, because our resources will be done in floats. And then our next one will be resource. And this will be of our E resource type. All right, go ahead and save that. Close that out and go up one folder to our structures folder. And in here, we're going to create our building struct. So right click blueprint structure, F building struct. Okay. So our first one, by the way, our default values are in a new tab now instead of at the bottom. Our first one will be building type, which will be of E building. Did we not create a building type enum? I spelled it wrong. That's why I can't find it. There we go. Sorry about that. So E building type. And then we will do a, another variable called building name, which will be of our E. So if this happens, by the way, this means it's not going to work. You need to click again and do it one more time. E building type. There we go. And then we are going to have stability, which will represent our building health. So stability, which will be of F min or F, sorry, current max float. Next, we will have our a Boolean setting for B is spline. So you'd want to use this if you're doing roads, walls, things like that. And then we're going to have our first array known as construction meshes. And this will be an array of static meshes. So we're gonna look for static mesh and you just want the regular static mesh with the little cinder block next to it. We are going to make this an array. And then we're gonna have another array of static meshes called base meshes. And then another and final array of them called damage meshes, them being the static meshes. All right, after that, we're gonna have construction costs, which will be an array, but not a static meshes, even though I only typed in the word meshes there. So I'm gonna look for F building costs. And again, it is going to be a type array because we might cost all three resources, two of the resources or one of the resources. All right, we're gonna add another variable in, and this will be our construction time and this will be of type float and this will not be an array it will be a single variable and then we'll have description and description will be of type text okay and then we'll have our working occupy occupants so how many people can work in a building at a time so this could be for construction or for actual jobs there. This will be F uh, current max int. And then we will have that one more time with a other occupants. So this might be few people who live there, hide there, shelter down, what have you. So I can't tell if I spelled that right or wrong. The microphone is literally covering that part of the screen but I hope I've gotten that right. That has taken us through the vast majority of what we want to do in this prep. So we're gonna take a short little detour to go up to our content folder and go to materials. And in our materials folder, we're gonna create a subfolder in which we will store the materials for our previous. We're gonna create a new folder called 
buildings and let's pop this open. We'll create a new material called M building preview. All right, go ahead and pop that open. And M building preview, what we want to do is we want to convert this from a opaque to translucent. We do not need shadows for this one. Holding down the three key, I'm going to get a scalar or a vector. I'm going to convert this to a parameter, which I will call color. All right, I'm experiencing a fair bit of lag for some reason. We'll plug color into there for a moment. I'm going to hold down the one key and I'm going to click. I'm going to default this to 0.4. And this we don't need to make a parameter because we're not going to be changing this. We will be changing color on the fly. We'll plug that into opacity. So now we have this weird sort of see-through black thing. Let's just very quickly set up our color to be our default happy preview blue. So for my hex linear value, I'm going to use 3, 6, 9, 0, Bravo, 8, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. So we get that blue instead. So there is our material. Let's create a material instance of this really quickly. Close all these out, right click the material, create material instance, I'll leave the default name, and then I will save all. All right, so we have one final thing to do. We need to create a data table for our building. So let's go to core, I'm gonna create a new folder in here called data tables. All right, in data tables, we'll create a new data table. So right click, go to miscellaneous, click data table. And then in here, select your F building struct. Click OK, and this will be DT building. Actually, and this and this will be DT buildings. Okay, pop this open. We're just going to add in one building for now. So hit add. Up here where it says row name, select it, and we're going to change this to barracks. From there, let's go through the setting for our barracks. So. What we will do is we will leave this, we will change this to residential. We will set this to, looks like we have the wrong structure in that. So let's go back to our structures, pop that open, and this should be E building names. Save that. Okay, and here, change this to barracks. For stability, we'll do 15 and 15. This is not a spline. All right, so our meshes, we need to get our meshes. So you'll notice there is a download at the bottom of this video's description. Go ahead and download that material and then we're gonna import our buildings. All right, so here are our building meshes. Let's go to our main editor window to find a content browser. And in our content browser, go to meshes. We're gonna create a new folder called buildings. And in here, we'll create one called barracks. All right. I'm gonna select all of these and drag them into here. I am going to allow it to generate missing collision. Do not allow it to generate nanite. It will not work with a nanite because nanite does not work with translucent surfaces yet. So we'll do import and you'll get a couple of errors because I didn't smooth these properly in Blender, but hey, I am a code monkey. I am not an artist and we can see we have various construction meshes. So that's when it's starting to be constructed, when it's a bit further along, when it's even further along, when it's nearly completed, and finally, when it is completed. So that is what we'll be building. And for anyone concerned, no, the walls are not thickened in the final version. I probably should have removed the floor, but eh. So yeah, the reason why the insides, outsides are working like that is it's a thickened mesh. We could have used a two-sided material as well, but I decided to do it this way. All right, so I'm just gonna save everything really quickly. Now let's go back to our building structure, oops, sorry, not structure, our data table. In our construction, we are going to add the four meshes that we have that are the unfinished version. So let's add one, two, three, four. And these will go in the reverse order of the numbers. So the first one will be barracks four. The second one will be barracks three. The third will be barracks two. And the fourth will be barracks one. All right, that is our construction meshes done. Let's head over to our base meshes. And this will be building or sorry, uh, barrack 
zero. As for damage meshes, we will skip that for now. For our construction costs, we will add two in, and the first one will be wood. Sorry, I'm clicking the wrong chevron. Will be wood, and we will set this to a value of 250, so it requires 250 units of wood. The second one will be our iron ore, which will cost 100. These are just testing numbers. We can change them out to be more gameplay friendly later on. As for our description, we will say that this is a Barrett housing unit for six units. Then we will set the max working occupants to six and the max other to six as well. All right, let's save that out. And hey, we're done. In the next video, we'll actually start working on our building and building manager component so that we can start putting some buildings on the map. If you've enjoyed working on your building system and have enjoyed doing the prep, as boring as prep can be, make sure to hit that like button down below. Sorry if there's a bit of a jump in the outro, a door slammed, causing a lot of noise. So as I was saying, if you want to take your support a bit further, consider just hitting the subscribe button. Hey, it helps you out. You know when the next video for this is out. And it helps the channel out. And it helps other viewers out because, you know, it helps them find this video. Yay for YouTube algorithms. And if you want to take your support a bit further, consider supporting on Patreon. Patreon supporters get access to ongoing and completed projects at higher tiers and at other tiers get access when projects are completed and most tiers get access to these videos early all right all of that said i look forward to seeing you in the next video and i hope that you have a wonderful day